Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on Flexbox. In this video, I'm going to briefly introduce you to Flexbox and in the rest of the series, we are going to learn how to make use of Flexbox for building layouts. So what is Flexbox? The CSS Flexible Box module, or simply known as Flexbox, is a one-dimensional layout model that makes it easy to design flexible and efficient layouts, distribute space among items, and control their alignment in a given container. Now before Flexbox, there were four layout modes. Block for sections in a web page, inline for text, table for two-dimensional table data, and positioned for explicit positioning of an element. But these layouts did not provide enough flexibility. We had to find all kinds of hacks to get the layout just the way we wanted. Working with floats, trying to vertically align the content, trying to create equal height columns, they were kind of a nightmare. The flex layout on the other hand provides a lot of flexibility. With Flexbox, we can arrange items left to right, right to left, top to bottom, or bottom to top, and at the same time, control the spacing, alignment, and order of items in the container. Besides all these advantages, Bootstrap 4 is built on top of the Flex layout. Now that is a pretty good reason to learn Flexbox. And to be honest, it has sort of become a must-know for front-end developers in 2018. Alright, that is a brief introduction to the what and why of Flexbox. In the next video, let's understand some terminology related to Flexbox that is essential to understand how the Flexbox CSS properties work. On a side note, you can find all the code related to this series on my GitHub repo. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.